it's time for you to go and make some money on this airdrop. And we're talking about parallel network over here. Now, this is the first omnichain L2 that unifies liquidity from any chain into one place. But how do you qualify for it? Well, we jump to the page over here, which you will be finding it down below. And it is essentially a depositing your liquidity and leaving it in there. Kind of like what Parcel just was, or uh, for example, the margin fi, which you lend and borrow here, you don't lend and borrow, you just put your money in like mode, which we've seen recently. It's not a bridge like the bridge or orbiter, it's simply a liquidity provider. And how do you participate? Well, once you are over here, you can start off by creating your parallel account over here, which will give on the signing transaction, you will have to pay a little bit of gas fees. And it is on the parallel network, as we see over here, you have the possibility to go onto the parallel network. Otherwise, what do you do? Well, you go over to, first of all, let's look at the statistic, which has only 68,000 users, which in my opinion is very much under farm. We've seen how many Orbiter has, uh, the bridge is another example with many margin fi and all of those. So what do we do now? There's only a total of 6,000 transactions and 252 total contracts. To start off, we go to deposit more over here. We click on deposit more, and you have the possibility to deposit funds from Ethereum to Parallel, so to do the bridging. And this is how you are able to start off. From Ethereum, you can send either Ethereum from Orbiter from Arbitrum 1 or from Manta. Let's click on Arbitrum, for example, to give you an idea of what I have. And you can send Ethereum, USDC, USDT or Arbitrum itself. Now, this is for this one. If you go to Ethereum, you can send, as we see over here, Ethereum. USDC, USDC, etc. and so more. So let's try to just go for a $3 USDC deposit, which we do over here with the bridging and with the network fee of 0.001. We click on bridge, we go over here, we switch to the Ethereum mainnet at this point, yes. And we're gonna go and accept the contract type that it is. And then we're gonna have to accept the transaction that occurs to our switch. 0.001, it's approximately three dollars and a half in transaction fees. But you can send either Ethereum, you can send USDC, you can send any of the other token. And as we see over here, this is the transaction fees as of right now. The 0.001, this one is from parallel. The estimated fees from the Ethereum chain, of course, is more. So click on confirm and you will be good to go and you have done the transaction as we see over here. Of course, the more you put, the better it is, the more liquidity you provide, the more airdrop you will do. But this is just for you to understand doing a few of these steps right here with you together. And here we are bridging it. So while we are waiting for this one, I do want to remind you to go and bridge what in my opinion is the best bridging airdrop in 2024, the bridge over here. And you can transfer, I got points, it's a point-based system. So if you want to join, the referral link is down below. Thank you for the support if you do so. If you already subscribe or refer to, make sure to go and do it because it is very important, only a few months of activity. But here you get points by doing transaction and you farm two airdrops wallets for one airdrop. What do I mean by this? Well, you send from Ethereum to Solana, for example, you get one X wallet with X amount of points. Then if you want to bridge back from Solana to Ethereum, you see how the wallet change. So you're farming two wallets for one airdrop, which of course one is going to be bigger than the other. My EVM, my MetaMask wallet is ranked 106, 107. This one over on Solana is ranked 7,800. Nonetheless, with time goes on, I do believe that I'm going to, or I would like to have it ranked at the top 1,000 at least, but we will see. So daily reminder of that. Back to the parallel over here. The bridge has been successful. And now you can see over on your activity. So all it is, is for you to deposit the funds, which we have already done through. I did this before trying to do the video for you. Arbitrary one confirm, parallel confirm on Ethereum. Of course, if I did do the other way around, which was probably smarter by my end, to go and do it from Arbitrium instead of Ethereum, the transaction fees and the cost of it would be way less. But once you've done this, you simply go over here to your balance and you see the ERC token balance, the NFT balance. You can check out your wallet as well. Here we got the EOA balances. Then you can click on apps and create a parallel account. If we go back to the page that we were before from the parallel website over here, we got the lending, the liquidation and the setting. So we did, you can lend and you can 
uh, let's say, provide liquidity with also the NFTs. We got the Board Day Yacht Club, the Peggy Penguin, the CryptoPunks. You got the ERC20 tokens, which we have over here. You can click on supply. And by doing the supply or the borrowing, it's up to you. You have no collateral. So if you do the supply, you pick which one of these two wallets you want with the MetaMask wallet and you put whatever you want and you go and provide the liquidity as well. So these are all the actions that you need to go and do the, the lending. Here we go, the liquidation in terms of the 28 items in liquidation, 265.7K in auction with historical auction up to 6 million. They got the health factor, they got the tab, the collateral and everything that you want to know. You can trigger all of this action as well if you want to go and take them as um, you know for yourself as well here we got the connect wallet to view which you can go and do for yourself we got the different wallet on the top you can create your parallel where you know the parallel over here from the ethereum and going back to what the possibility is once you created the wallet in this one over here which we're gonna go and simply go back to it on the airdrop app over here back to the parallel network once we have deposited all of the funds welcome to the parallel network once you have deposited all the funds you are good to go and create yourself the parallel network over here you will be part of my team when the team gets 30 percent of points extra on everything that it is but the balance on parallel is the important thing so create the parallel account once you have deposited your money you can go and create it of course be careful there is the transaction fee so you need to bridge ethereum in this case not usdc or usdt like we did before you go and pay for the usdt you go and pay for the creation of your wallet you then deposit your funds into the wallet and you're good to go provide liquidity provide your money just like mode was and you're good to go talking about another update that i do want to bring you as we did say for the possibility over on the uh the d bridge make sure to go and do it the link is down below Simply click over here, do all the procedure. If you want to bridge from Solana to EVM or EVM to Solana, you need to copy and paste your address. And then we go to Orbiter, which is another, uh, you know, thing that I do want to remind you to do. There are new missions of bridging transaction, any Ethereum from the ZK Sync area to any network. So if you do have them, simply click over here, ZK Sync era. If it does happen that you have any possibility of doing it, make sure to go and do it, get your point and you will be getting more airdrop allocation with that. The other thing that I want to talk about in this video that not many people know about is the Pacmoon airdrop. What is this? Well, Pacmoon is the first community coin on Blast. And how does the airdrop work? Well, the airdrop is simply kind of like all the free ones that you see uh, gurus and people like that farming on Twitter, uh, dollar sign, comment, like, share, and all that. It's kind of the same. It's just based on the interaction that you get. So for example, I have it over here crypto with lolo over here i am ranked 414 and i get 5000 views with two tweets so the more tweets that you put out the more photos that when they get caught up and you have the possibility for example to get likes to get shares this is the amount of views it gets not the amount of interaction in terms not the amount of likes nor the amount of reposts nor the amount of comments it's all based on the amount of views your tweet gets so once they go and see it if they like it and they retweet it they, you are into the into the airdrop and we got 15 days to go and do it as of right now this is the time limit for the airdrop season three they had the airdrop season two so just by creating content by posting it over on twitter whether it's videos whether it's photos whether it's gigs whether it's some you know as we see over here you can post anything from the weird videos to the photos, to anything that you want related to Pacmoon, they will like it, they will share it, they will retweet it, and you will be entered into the airdrop already. So yeah, make sure to go and try because it is really, really nice. As we said, it is the first community coin over on Blast, and they already have, by the way, one airdrop, the airdrop season two over here, which did make already quite a bit of juice for the participant let me go and showcase you if i have the possibility to see the price charts and what people got well this is the website the telegram the twitter let me see either you can go over on the deck screen um, to check out everything you can see tweet about pacmon to be eligible for airdrop 3 if you're in our chat room on district 1 and earn blast gold and ollie and vault pack on wasabi to earn 2x but 
you can go and check that out let me go and see if we actually find that over on deck screen just to give you an idea people were quite happy with the airdrop i do remember like it is now a while ago and i, I don't i can don't think i can scroll down that much before yeah it's it's quite a while ago that they did the season two so forgive me for that but let's go and see if we find it over here pack moon here we got it it's very very nice the price in the USDC, it is seven cent, and people got thousands and thousands of tokens for it. So definitely worth to give it a shot if you are a, or you just you don't have to be a creator, by the way. Whether you just enjoy it, it's all about the impression. So even if you're not a creator, if you're just a viewer of the channel, all you have to do is simply create your, you know, go and tag them. Most important thing, tag them, at them. Uh, if you want to at me as well, if you've seen this video from me. Go and create your content and make sure to post them, be interactive, be nice. As we see, it is a nice thing, but also videos like I'm doing or a photo, what is Pac-Man, what is this and that, you know, it's also helpful for the community. So make sure to go and do it. Make sure to go and see whether or not you will be eligible for the airdrop season three. But as we said, it is a free to earn airdrop, so I don't see the point of not doing it. And it is looking really nice. The community is really nice. Also go over to their Discord, super friendly, super happy to be part of this. Then yes, I am farming the Airdrop Season 3 and let's see how that goes. But with that said, guys, I hope you did enjoy today's video. Make sure to let me know down in comments. With that said, thank you for watching and I'll see you later. Ciao, guys.